Phonological and phonemic awareness can be very confusing. Whenever you think of phonological awareness, I want you to think it has to do with hearing sound. And phonological awareness activities can be broken into three levels. The word level, the syllable level, and the phoneme level. When we talk about phonemic awareness, phonemic awareness are all those activities on the phoneme level, this top level here. And we're going to look at all those activities that make up phonemic awareness. That says phonemic awareness. So phonemic awareness can be broken into a lot of different skills. On one end, we have just phoneme isolation, which means if I say the word cat, what's the initial sound in cat? We isolate a specific sound. The first sound, the middle sound, the end sound. If I asked you for the initial sound of cat and you said cat, the first sound is k. Well, that is an example of phoneme isolation. Or if I say the word hat and I ask you what's the last sound you hear in the word hat and you say t, that is phoneme isolation. So it's part of phonemic awareness. It's dealing with the individual phonemes, but it's, it's on the realm of things, it's still basic phonemic awareness. Okay, then we have blending and segmenting. This is when a child is able to take a word like cat and be like, it's made up of k, a, t, cat. So here I did both. I segmented the word k, a, t, segmenting and blending. Cat blended it back together. This is a very important skill, segmenting and blending words. When a child is asked to segment, they're asked to identify all the unique sounds they hear. For example, if I were to say the word ship or sheep, let's do ship. What do you hear? Ship is made up of a sh, i, p. Well, this is key because if we can't hear the distinct sounds in the word ship, we're going to have a really hard time when it comes to letter sound correspondence. So this builds that, this builds an awareness of hearing the individual sounds in a word. When we get to these other sections here, they have to do with manipulating the sounds in a word. I'll take a basic one. We've been using cat. If a child can hear that the initial sound is k and then substitute or change it to b and get bat. Well, this would be that advanced piece of phonemic awareness. So there's a lot of skills that go into phonemic awareness, and phonemic awareness is an advanced skill of phonological awareness. I know, it's a lot of information, but you want to know what makes up phonemic awareness and all the activities that make up phonemic awareness so you can answer all these phonemic awareness questions. And especially on this new exam that's going to come out, they're going to want to see that you have this awareness of phonemic awareness, okay, that advanced part of phonological awareness. So this is a nice graphic to practice with. Let's continue. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.